On day four of our trip, we were headed to our last stop before we got to Court's family in Norfolk, Virginia. Did I say it? Norfolk. Oh, Norfolk. 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 We were saying Norfolk, but yeah. we were quickly corrected. We were by pronouncing the all the letters. So, anyway, Urbana, Virginia was our next stop. When we got to our final campground, Google Maps told us to turn, and so we did, as we do when following Google Map instructions. And turns out, that was not the entrance. And we had no choice but to back our rig up with another camper trying to come in behind us. And so then we were getting frustrated, and then we had to turn around in this teeny tiny parking lot, and these very nice other campers who wanted to get ice cream and go putt-putt uh, they told us where the actual entrance was, and so we went there. There's a host waiting to guide us. What? Babe, there's paddle boats. Yeah, this is, this is a resort. Look at that. I would totally play in a splash pad right now. Would you? Not sure. Here? He said... Yeah, I forgot what he said already. Where did he tell us to go? I can't, I don't know. I forgot. He said stop at the white line back there. We are now being guided to our spot. It's like Disneyland for campers. It's a big barn. What oh, are look you? at the mulch. This is a lovely little town in here. We still were very much so impressed with literally everything about a campground. Oh look, they have little sitting benches. Yeah, that's lovely. For you to ponder and reflect your life. How did they all know we got lost? I have no idea. You should have waved to him. That's the camper code. Wow, this is cute. Let's take this. Okay, okay. I guess follow him. Okay. Ooh, good one, man on cart. I don't know. He said you gotta get closer. Do you know how to get closer? No. You need to get closer, yeah? And then when we went exploring, we found these tiny houses and they were so cute and I just wanted to get inside so badly and they were all locked and I was so confused because back home the password's always one, two, three, four or the key's always under the rug. Homes are locked because they're people's homes. You're still not able to break into any homes? Some of them were display models. This was so much easier back in Traverse City but the key was hidden somewhere very obvious. Now we're in the big, big world, babe. All right. You want to ask someone if they'll let us in? No. We've got masks. You're not asking to see someone's home. All right. After four days of driving and not breaking into anyone's tiny homes, we were finally on the last leg of the trip, which was actually getting to our family. And there was just one minor hurdle. Beth wrote minor in the description, but I'm going to sub that out for major. There was one major hurdle. So this morning I was texting with my cousin who lives in Virginia and we were talking about the last leg of the trip, which is getting to them, which was about an hour and 40 minutes away. And I don't know how it came up, but somehow underwater tunnels came up and I said, excuse me, what? I immediately felt hot, panicky, anxious, and she said, it's no big deal. I hate the ocean and being underwater is literally my worst fear. And now we're gonna take a truck and trailer underwater in a tunnel that's closed in and could collapse. Then I thought it would be good to watch a YouTube video about it thinking, Maybe it's not that terrible. Maybe I can mentally prepare myself. It was the worst five minutes and 11 seconds of my entire life. She has a bit of a flair for the dramatics. I have to drive through that today. I know people will think this is dramatic and those are the people who will be eaten by sharks in the ocean. And I probably won't have emotional support because she's working.
maybe it's a good idea. I think if I didn't know, I would have stopped all of traffic, started protesting and trying to explain to people that they were driving underwater. So maybe this is a good thing. I never mentioned how Courtney's the external processor. So if we die in a tunnel underwater that collapses in our truck and trailer, it's been good knowing you all. 100% oblivious to the panic attack happening next to me. It's fucking happening. have to do it it's just so scary and i know logically that it's probably fine but i hate the ocean so much oh well, we're not going in the ocean we're going through the ocean and this lane ends at a mile though okay i'll get over the semi is not letting me over please don't be an asshole sir i'm very frightened i see water it's okay we're above it okay 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 Everything's fine. A shark is not gonna knock out the wall. We're not gonna drown. This is very serious. Why are you laughing? Last exit before tunnel. Does that mean get off? No. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. There are whales and sharks in the ocean that are bigger than the entire size of the tunnel. What if one of them flips their tail and knocks a hole in it? I don't believe that they fit in this particular section of water. Ah! It's just gonna be just like another tunnel. I've never driven through a tunnel. Oh, I see, okay. I might throw up. We're just gonna stay right. Maintain your speed in the tunnel. Ah! Why are people kayaking their sharks? When I'm scared, I close my eyes and Don't I can't close, close your eyes. eyes. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my Everything's God. Everything's fine. Everything is do not, not fine. Do not stop. We are driving into the ocean. We're not driving oh, into it. Yeah, don't, we are, yeah, we are. Hit the brakes. I have to. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up Everything's really hard. Fine. Everything's fine. It's like a club. It's like Halloween tunnels. Don't you dare use Halloween in this situation. It's very confusing in here. I can't tell it's just the lane. what's happening. There's, I, there's there's my brakes. Brakes. I'm gonna use my brakes. I feel really nauseous. Is that the sound of the ocean? No, that's the sound of other cars. Okay. I'm at a solid 43 and that's the best I can do. I'm sure people understand. It's gonna be done after this. We're going on the ascent. We're going up after this. Yeah. We're gonna climb back up to the land. We should have always stay on land. We are. Well, we're always. On, we're on cement land. But look at that. Oh, I see the light. That's not so bad. That wasn't five miles. <laughs> don't swerve right now. Swerve where? I don't know. I don't know what kind of anxiety situation. I'm not don't sure either. It feels like throw up and crying. Okay. Well, we cried already, so let's just not throw up. We're almost there. No whales, no sharks. Bingo, bango. We made it. I gotta edit this track. Can I go oh, again? Yeah. Okay. So that happened. There were a lot more sound effects than I remember. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Just as many as I remember. At this point, we were about 20 minutes out from my dad's house, and I think I passed this test with flying colors and no vomit. There were some tears, but no vomit. I mean, I don't know if I can say flying colors. When we first got there, Beth still had to work, so we all hopped in the pool because it was hot AF and dad made lunch for everyone. And then Uncle Mike took us on a boat ride in the ocean and court acted cool as a cucumber. You want to know why? I think you're forgetting a detail. They told us it wasn't the ocean because I had to pee, which meant I had to dangle off the boat and I refused. So they told me it was the special part of the non-ocean where it turned into ocean, but it wasn't actually the ocean. What of this action. They basically gave us a tour of the town via boat, which was pretty neat. And then there was the wedding, the whole reason that we were going to Virginia in the first place. So we headed down to the beach. My dad and his now wife, Cindy, got married in a beautiful ceremony, very far away from the ocean. And then we went and looked no. at the ocean after the ceremony and it was fine. The ocean was like 20 feet away. Since the family was all together for the wedding, we decided to take advantage of that and have as much fun and as little time as possible while we were visiting. So we went down and we saw the boardwalk. We did lots Lots of singing, we played games, we solved mysteries, and really we tried to make the most of the time while we were there. We also asked for ribs at Chili's by singing Baby Back Ribs. Come on, Baby Back, Baby Back Ribs. <laughs> Chili's Baby Back Ribs. Then there was the Great Flood of 2020, which actually turned out to be the ordinary flood of 2020, because apparently this shit happens all the time. The water was halfway up our tires and ate one of our chalks. I think it was technically the swamp that ate it. And then there was hot tub time while we had family dinner at Uncle Mike's. And this is what happened. No, no, before you 
Before you continue, I have to teleport. I will give it right back. I don't think that's I true. I promise. No, you didn't. You returned it to Best Buy and said it malfunctioned. <laughs> I have a talking stick. So she bought a fifth head because she said that would make her run. Oh. I hate jets. They're so itchy on my back. Stop it. I have the talking stick. It was malfunctioning. Oh. I don't remember. You just tried to say that you sold it on Facebook Marketplace. So after about a week of gallivanting around town with family, we decided to get a campsite for two days so that we could build everyone a proper fire and have s'mores and drinks around the fire in the woods, as you do when you camp. And then we hooked up Rafi and we headed to my cousin's for the rest of our stay in Virginia. Where'd Beth go? And then we introduced our niece puppy, Leia, to Maxwell, our skeleton dog. That didn't go over so well. Maxwell lacks social skills, let's say. <coughs> He's okay. <coughs> And then came the day I had been waiting for all summer, September 1st. Back home at our house, I wanted to start decorating for Halloween on August 1st, but Beth and I had to negotiate and she agreed to September 1st. So I get all of September and all of October to decorate and celebrate Halloween. Ridiculous. What? Why is it Halloween? <laughs> You don't even have the right command hooks. <laughs> it's September 1st. Also, your signs are crooked. It's terrible. What else? That, all oh, that, 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 <laughs> that, that. God, it's everywhere. Did you allow this? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't allow did anything. Did you encourage it? I did not encourage anything. One night we went over to Uncle Mike and Kay's house and he made us a, I think it was like a German dinner because he was in the Air Force for 26 years and he was stationed in Germany for a while. And so he came to really love the German food. And so he made us a German meal and he asked us to try the sausage when we got there. Turns out the sausage was gator. What, what you eating, Beth? Which sausage did I put in there? Alligator. It's actually not that bad. Do we it's like it? It's not bad. I wouldn't know it was gator. You just ate alligator. <laughs> That's gross. It tastes like garlic. Do you like garlic? Garlic with some smoked garlic sausage. It doesn't taste like alligator, but my mind is not like alligator. <laughs> One of the nights when we were staying at my cousin's house, we thought it would be really fun to order a Ouija board online and revisit our childhood memories where we would play with the Ouija board. And we specifically remember that when we play with the Ouija board, weird stuff would happen, like the lights would flicker and crazy stuff would happen. And Beth was really terrified because she had never used a Ouija board. So then Michael, Heather's husband, brought her out something that would help her get through the process. Yeah. You, have to, wait, you have to explain Ooh. what it is because she thinks it's a leprechaun. Is this a piece of a leprechaun? It's a piece of a bone of a human. Yes. Stop it. That the Catholic Church declares, declares sacred. But in case it blessed it. Are you sure it's not a fucking dust? Also, can we talk about your ensemble? For reliquary. A what aquarium? Like you have chain what's around your neck it's called a necklace a necklace and then a bathing suit and pitch black aviators and you're like slumped over what is happening okay first of all it is a pink victoria's secret sports bra secondly oh, it's okay. a necklace that someone gave me oh. third i didn't have any eyebrows or eyelashes on so i was wearing aviators and fourth i had tequila oh one of these things is not like the other it's the tequila got mm -hmm. it so what do you do with this Put it in your pocket so a ghost from the Ouija board doesn't eat you. Why do you think we carry these around? We're afraid of the Ouija board. Come on now. <laughs> Shit, should I have been Catholic? 
open that. What are we about to do? It's a Ouija board, and it's just a bad idea. Have you seen Jumanji? Yeah, so you can't open it. This is nothing like Jumanji. That's basically what come out from the jungle. You're asking spirits to play in the jungle. Not I true. promise you, if you do the Ouija board, you never have to buy me a Christmas or birthday present again. Ooh, fat fan. The fuck is uh, that? <laughs> Courtney, what are we going to do with this? We are going to talk to spirits. And Beth Ann is going to do it because if she does, she never has to buy me a Christmas or birthday present. That is ever absolutely again. the most untrue thing I've ever heard. You still heard. have to get me an engagement ring. But no Christmas or birthday. Engagement rings are costlier than all of it. I forgot how to do this. You have to open it somehow, like open the portal. Well, then, don't just be moving it all willy-nilly, you're gonna call the evil one. And then when you close it, you say goodbye. Are there instructions? So we were getting ready to hit the road on our way to Tennessee, and we realized that we needed to fill our fresh water tank. So we tried to hook up our hose like we normally do and get the filtered water into our fresh tank, but we were about three feet short. So in the garage, Michael found an unused downspout and we used it as kind of a funnel extender to get to our fresh water tank. Oh, someone thinks it's a game. And just like that, our time in Virginia was up and we were on to our next visit with our friends in Tennessee.